So the first one we're going to go to with our recordings is over to our friends in Long Island, New York. By the way, I get a lot of calls from Long Island, so that has got to be a really, really Long Island from what I can tell. If you do want to call in and you want to be featured with one of your questions here, I can't get to all of them, but I do get to the ones that tend to overlap and answer the most for the most people. Give us a call at 833-LCN-TIPS. That's 833-LCN-TIPS, 833-LCN-TIPS. Hey, Alan, how you doing? My name is Nick. I live on Long Island in New York. Um, I am a second year homeowner, so the lawn is still fairly new to me, but I have a question. I know that my lawn is predominantly uh, fescue with a mix of uh, perennial ryegrass that I threw down myself last year, and I've started this year with a half app of prodiamine. I then used the RGS and some aerate, and I'm noticing some nice green up. However, there are some bare spots. The bare spots are ranging from you know two to three inches in diameter to some larger ones, perhaps six to eight. My question to you is, would I be able to hand till these areas, uh, break up that prodiamine barrier, overseed, and then put some tenacity? Or do you think I should wait until the three-month window for that three pounds per thousand that I put down to prodiamine is over, and I would have to put down that next batch of prodiamine to overseed then? Uh, just your thoughts. Um, I guess I would ask if you're if you would suggest I rehit those areas with the next products again as I oversee it, if I go that route, or should I just leave well enough alone and hope for the best? Thanks, Alan. Take care. Okay, Nick. So first thing, as I always say, you're thinking through the strategy, and this is exactly what I want you to do. So here's the deal, and this is the deal breaker for me. You've already put your prodiamine down. So you've already started through the process now. You've already said, okay, I'm good, I'm gonna hit that 55, you already been there, you put the prodiamine down, you watered it in, you've already started through the process. Because of that, I'm gonna say I want you to stick with the, with the plan, don't deviate. If you deviate, you're never gonna really know what happened, you're not gonna learn, and that's what you wanna do here in this year that, that I'm with you. You're a second year homeowner here, but still fairly new, so we'll call this your first year. This is the first year you, it seems like you're taking action, so I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna ask you to trust the process. You got that prodiamine down. Now, let's talk about the bare spots that you have. Some are two, three inches. Those are going to be fine. Go by our 30% rule. If you see 30% turf there, you're going to be fine. Feed it hard. Mow hard. Like I say, mow every Wednesday. Mow on Saturday or Sunday. Get that every three-day mow in there, and that's going to thicken up on its own. I know you have turf-type tall fescue and ryegrass, and those don't spread by rhizomes like bluegrass does, but they will get fat. I promise you they'll get fat, especially turf-type tall fescue. It gets fat. So that's the first thing. Now, the areas that are six to eight inches, well, you know, I think now we, we, we need to stick with the process. Again, like I said, I, I don't want you to go trying to dig anything out, put any tenacity in there. I just wouldn't worry about that. I think that it's best to just move forward and just feed it hard and learn. Now, take pictures of it. That's definitely something I want to stress to you. Take pictures now. Take pictures next month. Take pictures the month after. Obviously, we want to keep lawn journals, but you should keep visuals because one of the things that can happen, too, is you're looking at something every day and it doesn't look like it's changing because grass does grow slow. I think the only thing slower is watching paint dry. Even watching paint dry might be faster than watching grass grow. Unless you're on my program, then for sure your grass grows faster than watching paint dry. But either way, it still can seem slow, especially in a fast-paced world. So I'd recommend you take pictures because that will help you as you move forward. It will help you to have confidence that you are making some good progress there. So the rest of the question was about putting RGS on the seed and all that. We're not doing that. I'm hoping that you will not seed there, Nick, and that you will go ahead with my advice and just go ahead and trust the process and stick with it so we don't need to talk through the rest of that. And I hope that answers your question. Okay.